Hey, what's going on YouTube? And today I'm gonna show you guys how to basically fix MLOs that is causing conflicts between each other. For example, if you got a random prop, like a regular GTA 5 default prop or like an invisible wall or any conflicts between like flickering issues and stuff like that, well, this video is for you. So this is gonna be our episode number one and we're gonna be fixing the random props. On the next episode, guys, we're gonna be fixing the flickering issues so if you're watching this video uh leave a like because we need five likes to make the episode number two so let's get started shall we so if you got random props in your server um basically guys click on this link okay and then once you click on that link this page will load up and then it says here that duplicate ymap file finder so i made this guys and basically will make your life easier so I'm gonna select the folder that contains all my MLOs on my 5M. So here's an example. All right, here's my mat data. I only got two MLOs. Okay, so we're gonna select folder. And then it says I got 18 duplicates. So basically, I got issues with the uh, random props. So we're gonna basically export the files real quick and then we get the log. And now, what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna open up where your MLOs or like your folder they're all located at. And then you're just gonna select uh the first line so we're gonna only do the 3d market because if we but delete both it's just gonna call issue so we're just gonna delete anything that is duplicating with the 3d market with the mrpd so we're gonna highlight this copy this and then all you gotta do is go on your 3d market mlo and it's just charge them from there and then just delete it so we're just gonna delete this one and there should be another 19 delete those two boom and then now we're gonna do this one i believe you already did delete that one remember the two files that we just delete so we're good from these so make your easy life easier just delete them and then let's move on to the next one copy and then go back to the stream folder and paste it there and then we're gonna look the one that says the dt1 we got dt1 right here don't worry about this this is not duplicate and then go open file location and you delete it okay and now we're gonna move on to the next one here's the next folder here's a different uh dt1 so just gotta paste it and uh select them in here and delete same thing guys follow the same routine you click delete and then we go on here copy paste click delete same thing click delete click delete and then the final one is right here this is the easiest part now after once we delete anything like we, once we delete all the duplicate y maps we're gonna go back in here and refresh this just to make sure guys you know we always gotta double check our work and then now it says no duplicate white map files found so that means we did a great job now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a folder with all the white maps like i said if you have a other mlo different names just follow these steps they're pretty easy to do once you delete all the duplicate white maps okay you go to the folder and then you copy all the Y maps don't worry about these usually the Y maps are the one with the H E I T and once you see the underscore that is a Y map okay so you copy these I mean you collide cut and then let's go back to the main folder and then you just got to create a folder and just type it in Y maps okay and then once in there just paste the 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 Y maps and then we're gonna go to back to MRPD. We're gonna do the same thing. This is a Y map. And then we're gonna locate all the Y maps here. So don't worry about these lights. Just keep looking. This is not not Y maps. This is not Y maps. It's like stuff like that. So this one is a Y map right here. Y map, Y map, Y map. So we're gonna do all of these. Okay, so everything looks good. Uh, this is a LED light. So the next episode, guys, you guys watching this video, uh, we're gonna do the LED light issue fix. So this video is only for random props. So if you guys watching this video, make sure you guys hit uh, like um, so we go hit that uh, the next episode. Okay, after you paste this in here, okay, once you paste all the Y maps here, uh, you will be able to fix the the issue with the props. So let's open up our code walker, okay, 
and then you see this little small arrow in the corner you click on it and then once it loads up a little bit you see this here you select enable DLC don't worry about this thing just leave it how it is guys don't even touch it don't even look at it you know what I'm saying just enable this and that's it and just wait until it loads up because it's loading up like the GTA 5 DLC assets okay so it looks like it's already load up and then if you know where is your MLO is located guys just go where is it located and then and look for the part that it was causing the conflict so with the legion right so this is where this is all the GTA 5 random props right so you press T and then click on this little folder drag down and open folder location and then remember the folder that we create the white maps we only gonna select the white maps do not select like the whole um, resources for the map data no click on the white map select folder and now right here is all the this is all the conflict that we uh, I had and we're gonna fix this now so it's pretty simple so we click the little mouse select objects entity and then just select them okay you can hold uh, control and just keep selecting them okay select all these try to select them all okay once you do that you could click the move button in this and then drag it down and just make sure there's no other trees because it's just props because with the MLO there's a custom MLO underneath underneath this and then once the ads is just gonna be overlapping so it's gonna not look good that's why you're having conflicts you know what I'm saying so and that's 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 it just make sure everything is down so we're gonna drag this down and then looks like we're missing one right here we're gonna select this bring it down just make sure everything looks good and right everything is gonna look different as long as there's no props inside you know what I'm saying like how we remove them it should look like something like this okay we're gonna basically save our work okay so we're gonna look up for everything that we worked on so I usually drag this all the way up and scroll down like this so for example you see the little star in that corner you calculate extents calculate all flags and then save just like that and then after you do that we save all and then after you do that you can close your um, co-worker project and then you don't have to save it there's no need for that and then we're gonna go back to your folder that you created for your Y maps and then we're gonna select all cut and then we're gonna go back to our Legion score enchanted you could select any others those two if you want to put it on your MRPD or like I'm saying like if you have another MLO just put up anywhere that has a stream Y map okay so I'm just gonna select um, my Legion Chan put in a Y maps folder okay after you do that that's pretty much it guys okay it's plain and simple uh, now we're gonna load up the project and you're gonna see how it looks now boom no more conflicts or anything like that now it's gonna lo load up the assets of the MLOs if you get this just don't worry about this so now you see it's supposed to look like this no random trees remember used to be some random trees in here the big ass tree in this corner another big ass tree in this corner and then some stuff in here everything is gone so now it looks very good and professional and this is how you basically fix random props on your uh, on your custom MLOs in your 5 amp server so I'll be providing a link description of this guys and if you guys want to join my discord feel free I've got a huge discord server and I'll be posting videos tutorials and stuff like that and and yeah if you want to hire me to fix stuff I do got services on my homepage and I do a repair for MLO and flipping issues for $20 per MLO so if you guys watching this video uh, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode